Good morning everyone and welcome to the second assembly of term five. The theme for today is to give messages that are particularly pertinent to each year group and some messages that are relevant to the whole school. Um, I hope that you're all keeping well and I'm really looking forward to seeing you once we do get back into school and once schools are able to open again. My first message today is just to reiterate what Mr Vanika said at the end of his assembly last week about continuing to follow the government guidance um, about staying at home. It's really, really important as the NHS are doing such a fantastic job of getting us through the crisis that we're currently in, that we do follow that guidance and stay at home and avoid any further risk of spread of coronavirus. The next uh, message really is to Year 11 students. I'm sure there are a lot of you who are fairly concerned or worried about the next academic year and the next steps for you guys going forward. Um, whether it be a college placement, an apprenticeship, um, whether you're concerned about if you're going to meet your conditional offer, whether you've been given an unconditional offer, all of those are questions that we will do our very best to answer. The first thing about that is that we are working really hard to try and get make sure that you guys get the best grades possible and that you're supported as well as you can be by the school moving forward. Clearly, it's a really new situation for all of us, but rest assured we are working really, really hard during this time to make sure you're, you are well supported. With regards to advice about post-16, you should all now have received a letter from the WMAT offering some options and some advice for you. And I know that Mrs Kirby is working really hard to try and contact every student in Year 11 to give advice and to answer any questions that you may have about next year. For the rest of the school, or for all students, um, you should now have received some instructions on accessing our new home learning format, which is going to be via Microsoft Teams. We really believe that that is the best format and the best platform that we can offer so all students can access their learning from home. There will initially be three lessons that are made available per day for all students, in addition to some morning reading, and that will be done through the school, and you'll be able to see your timetable, sorry, through the school website. The login for this account is the same as your school email account. If you've forgotten those details, then please contact me as I do have all of your login details at home and I'm more than happy to pass those on to you. What is worth noting is that staff will be monitoring your um, participation in each lesson as there will be tasks for you to complete on the Teams platform and then any students who are not completing those tasks we will be getting in touch with. The book for this term it has been chosen by Mrs Alexander is a book called Gone by Michael Grant and this is the blurb for that book. In the blink of an eye, everyone disappears, gone, except for the young. There are teens, but not one single adult. Just as suddenly, there are no phones, no internet, no television, no way to get help and no way to figure out what's happened. Hunger threatens, bullies rule, a sinister creature lurks. Animals are mutating, and the teens themselves are changing, developing new talents. Unimaginable, dangerous, deadly powers that grow stronger by the day. It's a terrifying new world. Sides are being chosen, a fight is shaping up. Townies against rich kids, bullies against the weak, powerful against powerless, and time is running out. On your 15th birthday, you disappear, just like everyone else. Now, sections of that book will be being read by different members of staff each day and they will be available on Microsoft Teams for students to, to follow along with and listen to. Something else that I feel is worth mentioning today is the reward system within school. Um, we feel that it's always important to try and improve this, but particularly now during such a strange time. So there are two things that I would like you to do, or like you to be aware of really. The first thing is um, that you will have been forwarded a school council survey um, via Microsoft Teams and that's about a new reward scheme for September of 2020. We feel like as students you are in the best position to give us your opinion on these things and it's something we really want to consider quite deeply during this time so please make sure that you complete the survey to have your voice heard. The second thing is that during school closure um, obviously things are a little bit different and each department within school and each house um, every week will nominate a star of the week. So someone who they feel has been working particularly diligently or particularly impressively from home. That student will receive a prize, which could be something on the lines of an Amazon voucher, 
uh, pizza delivery, some books or some sporting equipment. In addition to this, each department will have other methods of rewarding students during the school closure. My next message is really about staying productive and trying to stay as positive as you can during this really strange time. Uh, a picture of the cake there was sent to us by a student who's clearly been doing some fantastic baking at home. But other things that you could consider are picking up old hobbies or things that you used to do but you sort of have maybe run out of time to do. Something that I've been doing is picking up my guitar again. I mean, I was pretty bad at it in the first place, but I've been trying to get back into that and trying to improve with that. Now I've got a little bit of additional time at home. I think the other thing that's really important is that you are all allowed to exercise every day and to go outside to do that. And I would really, really encourage you to take that up, whether it be going for a run, riding your bike or scooter, or even just going for a walk. All of those things are proven to improve your health and I think mental health and well-being are particularly important at this time. By following this link, you'll be able to access a video on YouTube that I think shares a really important message about the current situation that we are in. And that is that there are people from all nationalities, all religions, all sections of society that are helping to, to combat this illness altogether. And it's really important that once this is completed, we don't forget that. Thank you. So... It's finally happened. That thing you were afraid of. Something's come from overseas. And taken your jobs. Made it unsafe to walk the streets. Kept you trapped in your home. A dirty disease. Your proud nation gone. But not me. Or me. Or me. Or me. No, you clap for me now. You cheer as I toil. Bringing food to your family. Bringing food from your soil. Propping up your hospitals. Not some foreign invader. A village driver. Teacher. Lifesaver. Don't say go home. Don't say not here. You know how it feels for home to be a prison. You know how it feels to live in fear. So you clap for me now. All this love you are bringing. But don't forget when it's no longer quiet. Don't forget when you can no longer hear the birds singing. Or see clear waters. That I cross for you. To make lives filled with peace. And bring peace to your life too. Come all you Gretas. You Malalas. You immigrants. See what we have learned. It only takes the smallest thing. To change the world. So that's the end of the assembly for week two. Um, I hope that helped to provide some clarity for you all. If you do have any further questions, then please don't hesitate to ask the pastoral teams that are calling you all every week. Um, if they are unable to answer the, your questions, they'll be able to pass it on to staff who can, or if not, you can email the main office. I hope you all have a good week and continue to stay safe. Goodbye.